So it's me, Sana. I really hope you did not forget me, Science It's Sana. And today we're going to do an icy experiment. Ooh, cold. You be wondering why the ice was reddish, kind of. It's because I put food color in it, and it will need um, food colored ice for experiment. Okay, let's see. Have you ever wondered? You know that salt. Mm, um, melt ice, don't you? That's why they're always sprinkling salt everywhere on the streets in winter, so they can melt the ice. So, let's say there's two cups, one full of salt water and another full of plain water, and there are two ice cubes. Let's say these two are the ice cubes, and we put we break them apart and they put, we put both of them in the ice cubes. I mean, in the two glasses of water, salt water and fresh water which one do you think will melt faster what do you think oh i what did you say i couldn't hear you oh you said salt water didn't you well let's find out and do a science experiment okay so first we have two cups of clean water and these are two ice cubes we can put in them but first we have to put the salt in one how could we forget that okay now that's all salted we have to mix the salt in that water so it's pretty salty and nice Let's just mix it well because our extra amount won't come only if we if we don't have it mixed good. I think that should be enough. So we have stirred enough and we and we just have to put all the the two ice cubes. Okay. Let's see which one will melt faster. So now let's refresh. I mean, the ice hasn't melted yet, so we just have to refresh about density. Density is when something weighs more or less. So, for example, let's say we have a hot cup of water and a cold cup of water. The cold cup of water will weigh more than the hot cup of water. Cold water is more denser than hot water. Hot water just wants to flow, while cold water just wants to sink. Okay, so from this cup, the ice is kind of melting and that water that's coming down from it is cold water so it's gonna come down and it looks like it is coming down okay but this one it's it's the water is kind of like staying on the top i wonder why that is see how much they both have melted seems like in the Fresh water, it has melted more. Wow! Wow! Even I thought that the salt one would melt faster. Now I can explain you why that happened. So now the whole place is orange. So, um, you know, the ice's water is going down. You know, because the ice's water is cold. And cold has molecules that are really close to each other. And when they're really close to each other, that means they're more heavier. And if it's more heavier, then it sinks. So all the ice's water is sinking. but And the other water is going up. It's staying up. So it's keeping the ice warm. And the ice, it, can, it can't really be in warm water because then it, the warm water will melt the ice that's why this one was melting faster than this one okay so there's a salt water and the salt water is even more denser compared to the water that's coming from the ice so the ice is lighter compared to the to the salt water so it's it's floating and because it's floating that water is cold so the ice won't melt in cold water at all Okay, look, in this one, the ice has completely um, melted. But in this one, there's still a lot of ice. In the ocean, there are big icebergs, right? That's why the icebergs don't melt, because the ocean has salt water, not fresh or clean water. So bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed this video. I found it really interesting.